Rumors are that allegedly Martell Hope isn't too happy with Candy Burris. What did Candy do? How is Martell feeling? And what does Sheree have to say about all of this? Well, I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more right after this. What's up, Kenfolk? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. Alright, Kenfolk. Come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly Martell Holt is furious with Candy Burris. What did Candy do? How is Martell feeling? And what does Sheree have to say about all of this? I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more. And here it goes. Rumors are that allegedly Martell Holt isn't too pleased with Candy's latest interview. Some sources say he was downright hot with the negativity Candy put on his new relationship. Allegedly, Martell was uncontrollably with anger when he saw a recent interview by Candy when she painted his relationship with Sheree as a PR stunt. Another source claims that allegedly Martell was more hurt than angry. He has put a lot of work into making his new relationship right, said another source who wished to remain anonymous. Martell really likes Sheree. The source continued, and it was very wrong how Candy threw dirt on their new love. Insiders say, this interview caught everyone off guard. However, the big question is, how does Sheree feel about Candy's revelation that her new relationship is a fraud? Well, allegedly, Sheree was shocked more than anyone. Insiders say that Sheree really thought her and Candy were finally back in a good place. Another source says Sheree was really hurt by the comment. Everyone knows that Sheree has had a hard time with finding true love. With Martell, not only is she happy, but she is also finally with someone who she feels protects her. The source continues to say, with Martell, Sheree has somewhat now an understanding of how love works. She enjoys being with someone who understands her lifestyle and her career. Martell isn't intimidated by her success, but inspired by it. So Candy's comments really cut deep for the both of them. A friend close to the situation said, Right now, Sheree needs real friends in her corner supporting her, and not fake friends like Candy who publicly put her down every chance she gets. However, there are some Sheree fans who are still skeptical of Martell's intentions with Sheree. Team Sheree wants to see her finally happy. So, this new information from Candy has them somewhat nervous about the relationship moving forward. However, Team Sheree, they trust Sheree's judgment and hope this relationship is finally the one that works, despite what Candy says. Now, Kimfo, when um, Candy did this interview, and I heard this rumor right after the interview, I wasn't too surprised because that interview Candy did was uh, very shocking. Um, the details in which the information was presented made me think, right? And I can only imagine what that could have done to uh, the mental state of Sheree and Martell being in the beginning stages of their relationship. But also, I kind of found Candy's information to be somewhat not factual because of this. The way Sheree and Martell rolled out their relationship, it didn't seem like it was like they had the intentions of it being a PR stunt. Most times when a relationship is somewhat of a PR stunt, they have this, this particular rollout format that they go by. 
First is rumors that Sheree is seeing someone. Then it's uh, rumors of who that person is. They normally give three or four options as who the person could be and let the internet do the rest. Then it was Sheree was out on a mystery date with someone. Then it becomes, oh, it's getting serious. And then this is the part where traditionally, if it's a PR relationship, the person she's in a relationship with, their name starts to be in float around. And so then you start hearing Sheree's dating Martell or Martell and Sheree went on a vacation. And this is only building up the excitement until the big reveal. And when you look at Sheree and Martell's relationship, none of that happened. None of that happened. It wasn't your standard fake PR relationship rollout. And the way we found out that they were even talking, if you didn't have behind the scenes knowledge, is that someone casually saw them out running errands together. And from what my sources are saying, that Sheree and Martell had been out in Atlanta doing things for almost two months now under the radar. And no one really said anything. And that led me to believe that this relationship actually might be real. Now, the second part of this story that had me kind of speculating about Martell and his intentions is this. You know, Martell is a hustler, right? Martell knows how to make a dollar out of 25 cents. And the thing about it is this. Martell understands now after being on, I think, Love and Huntsville, uh, Love and Marriage Huntsville for now, what, about four or five seasons? He understands how this um, reality TV show game works, right? He understands how to get attention, how to keep attention, and how to monetize that attention. And also something else, Martell is very good at picking out women who have potential to elevate him. You know, when you look at Melanie, I think the story is they both were teachers and he noticed how much of a hustler Melanie was. He noticed how smart he was. And like Melanie said, she was the brains of the operation. Martell was just the muscle. And so he's very good at picking out women who he knows or who he feels like can elevate him to a higher position. And when you look at Sheree, she's the perfect person. Because whether you believe it or not, Candy pointed this out. Sheree has a billion dollar brand. Sheree has brand has more recognition than I honestly I think any of other any other uh of the other housewives of uh, brands past and present. Almost as much as Candy's because everyone knows she by Sheree. It's almost a uh, a Google search or a verb at this point. But the fact that she does not have anything to show for and to capitalize on it is kind of uh, disappointing. In comes Martell. Martell understands that it's an athletic brand. They both like athletics. And he could be a person who can move her forward in her career. And he can get a piece of the pie. So with that being said, that part of the rumor, Martell is kind of like, you know, out to make a come up off Sheree's name. I can see it. But, however, I just go back to how this relationship was rolled out. It seems as if it was rolled out very naturally, which reads to me that they're actually in a relationship. And the last thing, Kim Folk, you know, I think that Sheree in this relationship can work because of this. Sheree has kissed a lot of frogs. Sheree is a woman of a certain age, and I think now more than ever, she understands when a relationship is going to work, when it's not going to work, when it's right, and when it's wrong. And I do think that with Martell, Sheree is really taking her time, and I think that we're going to see from Sheree and this relationship with Martell, a woman who is much more knowledgeable, a woman who is much more uh, secure with herself, and a woman who is more open to making this work. So I really do think this relationship can go the distance. And to be honest with you, I think it's the real thing, despite what Candy may say. But Kim Folk, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that this relationship with Sheree and Martell is a big PR stunt? Or do you think Sheree may have finally found true love? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Alright Kim Folk, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment. And I'll see you guys over on the next one. Peace.